Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the guidance for selection of the pump types. Okay, so you will see that in our industry we use different different types of the pumps. For example, centrifugal pump. In centrifugal pump we use single stage centrifugal pump, we use multi stage centrifugal pump, we use positive displacement types of the pumps like plunger pump, piston pump okay we also use axial type of the pump gear pump vein pump lobe pump etc so we will start our video from the guidance for selection of the pump types okay and in our upcoming videos we will deep dive into the selection of the pump types now if you work in an industry you will have seen that most of the pump okay which you see in our industry that we use a centrifugal type of the pump Okay, centrifugal pump widely we used in our industry. Okay, now there is some advantages to use the centrifugal pump over other. Like few of them you can say with respect to maintenance point of view, with respect to operation point of view, with respect to cost point of view, the centrifugal pump are effective. Right, but also we use the other types of the pumps as well. For example, you have reciprocating pump, positive displacement type of the pumps, gear pump, right. Now, also, when you prepare the pump data sheet, pump data sheet, when you prepare the pump data sheet, so you will also see one thing, you prepare the pump data sheet, then you send that pump data sheet to the procurement department, okay, and the procurement department send this pump data sheet to the vendor and vendor give you the offer. Okay, and in that offer, you will see that there is a technical specification of that pump. Okay, so what I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell you that the most of the pumps are made in standard sizes. Okay, so whatever the pump you will see, for example, you prepare one PDS and in that PDS, let's assume that your flow rate is 30 cubic meter per hour. Okay, and head is 35 meter. And there is other specification as well. So you will see that that pump will be come into the standard sizes. Okay, whatever the standard size the vendor will provide you. Okay, that will fall into the this specification. But there is exception as well. Okay, for some pump for this for this specific purpose. So as we know that the most of the pumps comes into the standard sizes. So what is the aim here? The aim is to select the size. Okay, size means mainly you can say the flow rate, okay, and the type that is also very very important. And I have already told you that the most of the pumps which we use in our process industries that is centrifugal pump, okay, and it should be nearly fit into our service. For example, let's suppose if you are going to buy a one pump for the dosing purpose, okay, for the dosing purpose, you cannot use the centrifugal pump in that case. We go for the reciprocating pump right so that you have to keep in your mind okay now whenever a pump is selected okay so the preliminary selection of the type of the pump required for the process is made by the process engineer means a process engineer when prepare the pds so he or she select that which type of the pump we are going to buy which type of the pump we have to consider for that particular purpose okay that is very very important now there are some selection criteria you can say or the selection which we keep in our mind that is head versus q requirements head versus capacity requirement what is the fluid properties of the fluid which we are going to handle okay for example whether it is let's suppose the water or whether it is slurry whether it is chemical okay now what is the viscosity of that fluid okay whether there is a solid content or not whether that fluid is corrosive or not whether that fluid has a erosive nature or not so that points are very very important when you are selecting the pump okay for example if i talk about the viscosity right so centrifugal pump can handle the liquid viscosity up to 200 cst centi stocks now can you let me in the comments box 
विच फिजिकल क्वांटिटी हैज दिस यूनिट सैंटी स्टॉक्स ओके सो इफ द इफ यू हैव अ लिक्विड एंड दैट लिक्विड हैज अ विस्कोसिटी अप टू टू हंड्रेड सी एस टी सो यू कैन सिंपली यूज द सम हाउ यू कैन यूज द सेंटिफ्यूगल पंप ओके बट फॉर हायर विस्कोसिटी यू कैन नॉट यूज द सेंटिफ्यूगल पंप सो फॉर हायर विस्कोसिटीज मेनली वी गो टू टूवर्ड्स द स्क्रो पंप गेयर पंप वैसी प्रोकेटिंग पंप ओके सो डेट वी विल हैव टू सी वेन वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग द पंप डाटा सीट okay that you can also see in your industry as well okay like for example if there is the gear pump so which fluid you are handling there that you will have to see or that you could also see and you can let me in the comments box right okay now see also there is one point as well for example let let suppose that if there is the solids are present in your fluid or in the liquid if there is the solid present in the liquid which you are handling so the choice of the pumps is further restricted why it is restricted so simply see if the solids are present in your fluid or in your liquid if you will not choice your pump effectively if you will not choice your pump effectively so that internal parts of the the internal parts of your pump could be damaged your pump casing could be damaged your pump impeller could be damaged in in case of the centrifugal pump right so when solids are present all internal passage should have adequate dimension okay that is very very important whenever you are selecting the pump with solid are present there now if the solids are abrasive so the so the close internal tolerance close internal tolerance between the stationary part and the moving parts are undesirable why the close internal tolerances between the stationary and moving parts are undesirable obviously if that will be close what will happen internals could be damaged see mainly in our solids when the solids are there so we use the open impeller right if the if the close internal tolerances between the stationary and moving parts are there so obviously your pump parts could be damaged okay the stationary parts means your casing casing is your stationary right and the moving parts is your impeller what could happen obviously it could be damaged your impeller could be damaged are you getting my point what i want to say so same for example let's suppose if you have to handle the liquid which has a solid parts present or solid content present in it so obviously we use the centrifugal pump and in the centrifugal pump we go more further and we choose that centrifugal pump which has a open impeller okay we cannot go with the closed impeller type of the centrifugal pump or the semi open impeller type of the centrifugal pump we go for the open impeller type centrifugal pump i hope my points are clear to you okay now same if there is the reciprocating pump or displacement type of the pumps you have to select in case of let's suppose the uh, fluid which have a which has a higher viscosity let's just assume there is one case which i am taking that is lubricating oil right okay in that case a process engineer or engineer must ensure that the discharge line of the pump is safe from the unwanted excess pressure if required okay so in that case a process engineer must provide the pressure safety wall psv okay which will mitigate the risk of the accidental excessive pressure in the discharge line okay we sometimes we also provide the dampener here okay but the dampener and your pressure safety wall must be there Okay, for the safety of the reciprocating pump. Now there is the one question for you all. We provide the safety wall. Okay, or we say we insist that in your discharge line of the reciprocating pump or positive displacement type pump, there should be a PSV. Okay, or the dampener. But in the case of the centrifugal pump, we do not insist. Why? Can you let me in the comments box if you know? so it was the video about the guidance for selection of pump types i hope you 
got something new from this video if you got something new from this video you can simply like this video you can share this video with your friends and you can subscribe our youtube channel for more technical videos like this okay and you can also suggest us the topics which you want to cover from our side so that's all for that today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you